Janice Thacker, and we're uh, at Wichita State University. I received my bachelor's degree here, and I also um, master's hours in art education. What do you think about Wichita State? So um, I'm new here to Wichita, but so far my experience with Wichita State has been amazing. At the last art show that we had here where they allowed us to use their facility, we were able to meet a lot of very unique people, and uh, we were able to receive a lot of assistance. I think that this college is something that's very important and meeting people like Ms. Janice here uh, who did graduate from this school uh, shows that we have people that uh, go to school here that actually care deeply about this community and being able to build this community up for them is going to be a tremendous opportunity. Hello. My name is Janice Thacker, and I'm the founder of Art That Touches Your Heart, a nonprofit organization where we bring cultural art into the community. This is our seventh year. We've been able to partnership with the city of Wichita, uh, local and national politicians, the Smithsonian Museum in Washington, D.C., also the Wichita State University Division of Diversity and Inclusion. So we also were involved with five different schools. Uh, elementary students, uh, grades four and five, displayed their art with local artists and national artists from Dallas, Kansas City. And we also had a dealer, an art dealer, that came in with six artists from across the nation. Our local uh, enthusiasm has helped our audience participation. And so this next year will be our eighth year. The cultural advantage of living in a middle of the United States is everyone from everywhere has a chance to be in Kansas. We have a chance to share a part of a different culture with the Wichita community. I'm here with Anthony Joyner and he's going to talk to us about uh, how do you feel about art in Wichita? Thank you, Ms. Janice. Uh, my name is Anthony Joyner, as she stated, and I'm the newest board member of Art That Touches Your Heart. Art in Wichita is uh, an amazing thing. Uh, we have so many talented artists in this area, including the, uh, the children that are, uh, they, they have such a wide and vivid imagination. I think that what we're attempting to do here uh, with the art district that we're bringing about is going to expand on that and help them to understand that it is okay for them to use that imagination to build on something. Uh, we're going to be displaying a large amount of cultural art that gets them involved and, and helps them to, uh, to understand the unique perspective in which they have. You talked about uh, new ideas and perspective. It also leads us into the business aspect, the entrepreneurship, the opportunities that the arts uh, help you solve problems, to make new clothing, like you said, design music, uh, help with uh, cities, the way they want to plan their streets, make people feel included. Absolutely. Art is about music. Art is about innovation. Art is about uh, making something from what before seemed like absolutely nothing. So when we open these kids' minds to uh, being able to uh, use their, their imagination to build something, it's amazing the different things that you'll come out with. You may come out with new technology. Because, uh, as we all know, artists come from many different backgrounds and they come from many different uh, perspectives. So, us as an artist, when you see something that uh, may not be working for you at that particular time, you begin to think on how I can make this so into something that I like, into something that I want to use. So, this could lead into better technology. This could lead into better usage of spaces. This could lead into so many different things just by allowing everyone to use their imagination more. So I believe that this art district and what we do here is extremely important and is going to make a huge change in all different cultures here in Wichita.
Well, Ms. Janice said in regards to uh, art opening up ideas for business is, is truly amazing. And it's also very valid. We see so often in our poor communities where um, there's so many different aspects of that. Uh, children don't understand when they graduate from high school that they have so many tremendous opportunities. If we're able to show them that what they have innate within themselves can create business opportunities more than just a nine to five job, but it can also provide food for their families and it can provide different things that, um, that they didn't know that they were able to gain access to, I think that that will help to build these communities within itself. So often we have so many creative minds, so many uh, broad aspects that are limited due to what they're told that they have to do. If we show them what they can do, then it, it opens up so many more possibilities. And I think that that within itself is extremely important as well. Um, also, it helps to cut back on things that are uh, taking from the community and it forces those things to put back into the community. Whenever you see a, a shopping complex put into a smaller community, we immediately know that uh, there's going to be some things brought in that are only going to hinder the community. So many uh, loan places, loan sharks, and so many um, businesses to where they're uh, promoting high-priced vehicles and things like that. Imagine if we could replace some of these things with something that creates business for that community that keeps the money within that community itself. That, that is extremely important for uplifting any community. Uh, we want to make these communities more conducive for the growth of young minds. Uh, so that is uh, what we're looking for, or what we're leaning toward. Mm -hmm.